Today I need to try something different. I've got all this clothing just racking up, starting to take over the whole garage. It's not going to sell itself while it's hanging up there, is it? Chilling on a box. So I'm going to take it inside today and I'm going to start listing from inside. Slam it up on the door, take a picture, slick it on Vinted, bargain prices and move it on. Normally, when it gets to this kind of state, believe me, there's more there than meets the eye. Nice little James jacket there. James loves a brown leather jacket. Normally I'd do a whatnot show, but with them being Royal Mail, can't be arsed with it. Just can't be bothered. So, mainly because, mom, actually no, my shop lets me, no, can't be bothered. I'm just going to take it inside and work from in there. Slam the music on, take the tape measure, take the box, take the bag, take the pen, and move on. Let's go. First batch, oh, I'm going to drop it. Oh, I'm going to drop it. Oh, I'm going to drop it. Yeah. So there we go. We're just going to slam it down. Five to nine. What I'm going to do, just pop it up there. The lighting's not great, but it's going to be plenty enough to take a good picture in order for the customers to see what they're getting. Do you know what I'm saying? We're not in JD Sports. We're not in Gucci. We're not trying to get crisp pictures. We're getting it in. We're getting it on. And then we're <clears throat> getting it gone. That almost looked like some Allison, didn't it? Cinema. I'm literally grabbing everything that's hanging up for a start. And then I'll come and get some of that mess. Yeah. I recently found out there's some kind of action mode on the iPhone. So when you're moving around, it doesn't look so shit. Might be the iPhone 15 though. I'm going to look into some settings later and see what it is. Right, look how much clearer that is now. Hello, much better. Grab a couple of things off here, I think. I don't 100% know what's up here. There's a lot, to be honest. Oh, shoes, there's bags of stuff. All of that behind there is, in fact, just... A row of clothing. I think we'll leave that there for a minute. Just get the straggly bit, shall we? Straggly, stragglies. Do all them bits that are. Anything that sort of anything that doesn't have a hanger. Like what's that? I don't know what that is. I don't know what any of this is. There's no hangers on it. So we'll take it. No hangers on that. That's not got a hanger. What I don't really want to do though is I'll scare myself by taking too much clothing in there. I mean, but I think if we just take the rest of these that are just hanging really near, there we go. That'll do, won't it? So now we've got a nice, clear idea of what's going on. There's probably about 60 pieces there. We'll have a count up inside, shall we? I'm actually not going to count it up because there's quite a lot there. And if I count it, it's going to give me a target. I don't want a target. I just want to blast through it at some point today as well i've got to walk this thing down to what's that lloyd's bank emma's been sent a check of three pounds 19. i've got to walk a foosball table down to the school at some point today okay now. washing's just finished well i'm going to get some music on i'm just going to crack on right the box is empty we've made a new box Box S for Oh Sugar. Bags to put the stuff in. Pen to write what's on the bag. Tape measure over there. And we're just gonna crack on, I think. Just gonna crack on. I'll come back to you if anything interesting happens. Can't imagine so, it's just a bunch of clothing in it, so probably see you when it's done. Oh. Before you take photos, always make sure your lens is clear. I'm just gonna show you what I mean about, you know, picture quality and how it's, not going to be perfect, but it's going to be good enough. Will that fit behind now? I've never done this before. Yes, what a result. Are right, you ready? That is absolutely fine for Vinted and eBay. You can adjust the colour if you want to. Let's see if I can do it on film by tapping away. So I'm bringing the darkness out, bringing the brightness out. I can focus on the colour and then drop it down again just to really get it where I want it. I think that might be picking up on the video. And obviously I'm going to be doing square crop, so all that will be gone. All you'll see is that and that. And that's absolutely fine to be listing stuff. I know you've got all these fancy pants people that do all this special way, get all the box lighting on and all this kind of stuff. And I used to be like that. I used to be so bothered about it. But I sat and thought about all the times I've bought pre-owned clothing, whether they've had special lighting and stuff. 
and they haven't. I've gone back through the things that I bought, nine times out of 10, they're slung on the back of a bedroom wardrobe, dog on the floor, airbrush on the side, and probably a used jolly next to the bedside cabinet. I bought it. Maybe I've just got bad buying habits. Right, anyway, enough waffling. I've wasted what? Eight minutes. I haven't wasted those. I've been getting sorted out. I've been waffling. I'm waffling again! See you in a bit. Okay, we're 20 minutes in. I'm getting distracted by YouTube. 20 minutes in. I've found stuff that I want to keep, of course. You can't even see it, can you? Hold on. It's quite a cool t shirt, actually. Not had it to mention it before. I still can't see it. But we've done one, two, three, four, five pieces. Have been distracted, have been watching the new iOS 18 update video, along with Asian Andy, of course. And on my phone's currently downloading the new update, so I think I might cut my phone off for a bit soon. But yeah, we're moving on nice. Do you want to show my new t-shirt? That was all. Watching a bit of corner, the Welsh pokey pick, yeah, and something happened. Yeah, I'm currently naked. I keep trying clothing on. I keep finding stuff and going, oh, I fancy having a bit of that. I've just found, I found this little Mercedes tag. I was like, oh, that's a nice little blood, isn't it? Have a look inside there. I found a... Oh, I don't even want to tell you how I feel about that. I don't care about the germs. I care about what it represents. There's another one here as well. Let's see what's... Oh! I always take the bit out of there when I'm ready to empty it and then fill it up first. I don't want wastage. I've hit a very small snag and that small snag is the fact that I'm bored. I am bored. It's half past 10. I've been at this for about, I don't know, an hour and a bit. We've got quite a few in the box. Loads of hangers ready. Loads of sorting piles. Loads of stuff that needs to be addressed. Wi files on the TV. If you don't watch the Wi files, you should. But you don't have to. You do what you like. But that pile is quite slim now. Now, normally what I would do when I'm bored is I would change task. But I know that if I change task now, all of this is never going to get done. It's going to get dragged back in there. Ooh, so I've got to stick on the task. I've got to manage this. We can do this, boys and girls. Just an update. Let's crack on. And the last one is done. And there we have a nice tub full of clothes ready to be listed. And it's only five past 11. We do have a couple of piles that haven't been sorted. So, you know, these need debobbling or defluffing with the sellotape. These ones have damages. They can still be listed, I'm sure, but just not today because it's not worth it. Two pieces that are being, that need to be washed and then they'll be ready. And my keep pile is one, two, three. But a nice big tub like that ready to go. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Now I can just sit down, put a film on, and just list everything from my phone. Most of it will go on Vinted, so keep an eye out for that. There may be some pieces that are better off on eBay, so keep an eye out for that. All of my links are in the description down below, apart from my Vinted, I do need to update that. 2002 RL. Well, I'm going to get sorted, get tidied up, get settled down, start prepping the food, because it's almost lunchtime. Ayrton has actually said to me that if you guys do reach out to him and use my name so he knows where you've come from, if you want to start a plan... You'll get a discount, 15%. That's massive. Go and check him out, honestly. Down to earth, chilled, and knows his shit. And he doesn't mind being hassled either. Right. Let's carry on. And there we have it. One fresh box back in the garage. Now I've just got to find some space for it. It's going to be around here somewhere. All of that needs sorting out because it's just, these are all empty cases. Just a load of old junk there. Needs to be moved, sorted out, and reorganised. That will then slip in nicely. And look, I can see my boxes again. How amazing is that, hey? I just got this letter come through from Kite Packaging, the purchasing manager of Ricky Resales. We've had some sales, but I'm gonna go through those of you tomorrow. I've still got the Butlins tin to pack up now, the vintage Butlins biscuit tin. That's the last time you're gonna hear me say that. And the rubber stamp things. So I'm gonna pack them up and then go and drop them off with some other stuff. Emma's vintage bits as well. She's nagging me. Make sure you send them. I'm doing it, darling, all right? Then that should lead us nicely into around about, what time is it now? 10 past one. That should lead us nicely into about quarter to two. Then we can go to a charity shop, see what's in there today. Always hit it daily. And then I need to take my car to the car wash and give it a spray because a bird has taken a massive...
on the bonnet and all down the side of it again. Ridiculous. So I'll see you at the charity shop and I'll leave you with this clip here. Steve Marley actually sent me a box of goodies. I've had this clip for a couple of days now, so let me slip it in here before we head to the charity shop. Thank you, Steve. Well, I've just had this very suspicious parcel arrive from Mr. Marley. Look at that. <laughs> Let's start some... Nothing's ticking inside, is there? He said... I've got these. I don't use them anymore. I want you to have them. I'm going to send them to you. No, actually, that's not what he said. He said, I've sent you a parcel. I don't use them anymore. I want you to have them. He didn't ask, he didn't ask me to send it. He just sent it. So we're going to go through it together and have a look. Hopefully, this isn't the end of Ricky Resells on camera. If it is, Emma, when you find this footage, please release it. And it's Steve Marley. All right, Steve Marley. He's the one you need to be looking for. I need to get some of this caution tape stuff. Right, you can look before me, because... Right, this is it. If there is a god, just let me in. Just let me in, all right? Or send me to hell, as long as... Do you know what? I don't really care. Jeans. <laughs> jeans! So Steve has sent over some jeans. What are they? G-Star Raws. Now, Steve, only for only thing I thought he did that he did say to me as well. I don't care what you do with them, use them, sell them. I don't wear G Star Raws, but they flip quite quickly, don't they? Or could I wear those? What size are they? Yeah, thirty-two. Never going to fit into them, Steve. So we'll probably just flip them. No idea on value on them. Twelve, fifteen, maybe. G Star's not massive money. We I've just reached my. Stand goal. I think it's a load of bollocks, to be fair. O'Neill t-shirt. Again, looks like a medium. So I think it's had to be flipped. I think that's a medium. Hello, darling. That's a nice little one there. I made an honest today, Daddy. Okay, baby. And last but not least... Some trousers. Some more jeans. They look skinny as hell for my little leggies. Yeah. They are Vans. Yeah, to these. So, what I'm going to do with these, Steve, because I'm not going to wear them, I can't wear them, I'm going to flip them. And what I'm going to do with the money, what should we do with the money? Who should we give it to? Mm. No, not you. Oh, you're thinking. I thought you said me. Mm. We're going to sell these two pairs of jeans. Him. That's Daddy. Him. Him. Daddy can't remember. Steve, how do you know Steve? Did you hear when I was saying the name? Okay. Um... Steve wouldn't want the money, otherwise he would have sold it himself. What we will do, we will sell these jeans and the t-shirts. What? I like the hair. Thank hair. you. Hair. I, oh, the chair, yeah. We will sell these jeans and this t-shirt and whatever we can get for it, whether it's 10 quid or 20 quid for the lot. Baby, I'm talking, please. Whether it's 10 quid or 20 quid for the lot, I'm going to go to my local charity shop, the ones with the lovely ladies in there. They deal with St. Michael's Hospice. Yes. They deal with aftercare. They they got toys and they got you toys. Can, you can do stuff. Yeah. And pay. But they mainly deal they with people. Five, ten months. They mainly look after people in the last stages of their days. So we'll sell that. Because they do do charity shops. We will sell that and then we'll just drop it off straight into there. So Steve, Hi. I appreciate the thought. I appreciate the gesture. And Hi. now I've got a little bit of work to do, and I've got to flip them now. And I'll do oh, that. Yes. So thank you, Steve. Thank you, Steve. We'll make a donation on behalf of you. Make a donation on behalf of you. And I. And I. Your donation, my art graft. My donation. Appreciate it, Steve. Appreciate it, Steve. Say bye. Bye. Is it done it? Oh, it's not done it because I didn't. Oh, this camera quick. All right, let's drop these and then go to the chasm. Also, Tracy, I'm finally going to send your sticker off. I'm so sorry quality stuff from that lady as always we've actually just had a sale should we see if we can look what it is because i've started posting the vintage stuff see if it works when you're in camera yeah it does is it still recording yeah i don't know what you can see on my face though we've sold that doesn't say but we've sold something ios 18 is quite i've just noticed the pause button there let me try it and we're back yes Sorry. All right, we're actually not here to go mental. All we need to do is get all this off. So I'm just gonna like spot check it really. Plus I've got the fresh kicks on. 
Maybe not, because it's not accepting my two pound coin. Well, that one behind this wall didn't work. Let's try this one here. See if that fucking works. Stupid ass thing. Hey. See ya, sucker. That'll do it. That'll do it. Probably a prime Arnie. Ooh, Lovers FC, H&M. Five quid, I'm gonna have to quickly research that because I've never seen it before, ever. The Osmonds, it's a newer one though. It's not old. Still might have two and a half though. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Richard. Grand, you all right? Good, yeah. Good. Tayberry, not too bad. What is that? Ooh, what is that? Extrication. Five quid. Thing is, as got pro ban, flame resistant. Hmm. I'll think about that one. I've got an RJS yes, there. Is that a full? I think that's a full kit. Yeah. Trousers and top. I think five for some pro bands. I'm gonna have to give it a bash, and I. <laughs> Yo. Live the life. And get that as well. My basket's already full. Can I dump it off? Yeah, I ain't yeah, finished yeah. yet. <laughs> Thank you so much. What's in the magic box? I'll have a look at that. Goodies in a minute. I'll put it out. Don't you worry. Why does that feel like it should be something? Some weird little soles on that one. Might have to give it a go. Stephanie. Steffi. I'm not bothering with Steffi dolls. Who is Steffi when she's at home? Who she decided to pop out the woodwork? Who's Steffi? Yeah, this. I thought it was, oh. I thought it was Barbie and Cindy. Ooh. Now you got Steffi. That's a knockoff, isn't it? No, I think it's. I think it's. I don't really like something like that. I think it's, I, don't think, I don't know if it's like supposed to be fake or anything. I think it's just a another one to add to the collection of. Oh, who knows? Yeah, <laughs> not me. I've got more llamas than you. That looks like it is. I think I'm ready. If you are, I know it's a big job. Where's that thing gone? Did I put it in there? What's that gone? The little. Teddy bear thing. Maybe I put it in the wrong basket. Oh, I know I put it back. Oh, did I leave it in the wrong basket? My no, apologies. You just left it, yeah. Oh yeah. My bad. Is there in with the teddy bears? Look, you get the orange one. There it is. My apologies. My apologies. I put it in there so I can pick my basket up and then I forgot to get the basket. And in that time you've been too super organised. I thought it was me, I thought I'd put it in there, you see, out of my No no. Oh. Always me. Someone in the world has got a need. What size is it? Five, it's a 5XL. Yeah. We'll see. Do you need a bag with you? <laughs> no, I can manage all that, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, all right, I bought them. I bought some size 5XL racing gear, obviously. And this is what I mean about car boot sales. When I see things that are just going to be a pain in the ass to process, I don't ask the price in case it's too cheap. So I'll show you what I picked up quickly. I've never heard of this before. Cats versus pickles. £1.25. I just thought it looked a bit like it was collectible type thing. So I had a quick research and yeah, it was. This camera's looking really good. I can't tell if it's because of the iOS 18 update or not. It just seems really steady. Maybe it's just me. £1.50. Looking about 15 quid back on that. And a little Le Creuset mug. No chips, no cracks, no dents, no knocks, no nothing. 75 pence. I want to know what it is. I recently turned my camera down from 4K to 1080p because I don't need 4K on the iPhone. Not for what I'm doing. I thought this was quite a nice little piece. I think it's obviously a like a business type thing, maybe like live the life, rush slowly. I'll rush slowly. Terrible accent, by the way. XL on the Paragon tag. Just obviously the T-shirt they decided to go with it. Reggae Beach Saint Kitts. It's three quid. Move it on there. Three quid. Just a nice little top. 
<laughs> I've never seen this before. Lovers FC H&M. It looks like the Italy kit. I don't know if it's supposed to be like the Italy kit or something. It's got the Italy colours and stuff. But for a fiver, I thought I'd have a bash on that. Lovers FC. Sounds a bit, you know, saucy. And then I picked up the Osmonds t-shirt because I think it's really cool. If it's my size, I'm going to keep it. I really quite like it. The lady in the shop bless her went, oh, he died recently, didn't he? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I realised she was about tea time. I was like, no, no, no. That was the Jacksons, my dear. 250 on that. And then, of course, these. Now, I picked it up mainly because it was cheap. It's five quid. Five quid. It's made with the Pro Band Protection. It's got the extra extrication. So whoever that was was in extrication, whatever extrication means. I'll Google that, of course. I know what extraction means. But Proban is a very highly fire retardant material or layering, however they put it in there. And it's a size medium, for, no, made to measure. Medium, 44, that one. So that's not too bad. I'll probably fit in that one. But this under layer, I believe you'd wear this underneath your racing suit, is... I think it's 5XL, flame resistant, we know that. Hazel Park, Michigan, Nomex 3 to 1. But yes, RJS, RJS racing equipment. Oh, you can't even see that's a fiver. There you go, you've seen, you've seen it's a fiver. I don't lie to you, do I? I never lie to you. RJS racing equipment, Nomex. But that's quite a big one, but you know, there's going to be a market for that. But this one... I'm hoping because, you know, a lot, like a lot of things, the bigger the better in it. Elastics are still fantastic. Fantastic elastic. Size. So, so this was made November 2009. 5XL. 5XL. That's not even stretched out, mate. So I have a really good buy or, or just a terrible buy, to be honest. I don't know about values and that, but the overalls, I've seen listings of like 50 to 80 pound for different variations on the tag. And the RJS, of course, the more, there was one I saw which were like flames all over it and stuff, which is quite ironic, really. That sold for like 50 odd quid. So I thought I'd take a punt on that. The Crusade mug, probably 12 to 15. And again, I think 12 to 15 on that. We picked some stuff up, didn't we? I'm going to try and get that football table in my car so I can drive it to Emma's work in a minute, the school, where Ada goes to school. One of the dads at the football let us have it to give to the school. Obviously, it came here first. I've either got to carry it, which is only like a quarter of a mile that way, or if I can put it in my car, I'll drive it. So on that note, I'll catch you later. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Again, Steve, really appreciate you, mate. And I'll see you again shortly. Ta-da. What are you doing dancing around the place? Stay there.